Okay. Um, I watched the Castle season series finale last night. And, you know, the writers did well. You know, I like the part where, you know, at the end, seven years later, it showed them happy with kids. Even though, you know, they kind of pulled you around there at the end. Thinking, yeah, will they survive, you know, what they've just been through. But to show them later on with three kids, ecstatically happy. I mean, that, it showed them living the American dream. And they were happy and in love still. And, you know, at that point, they'd been together about 15 years from beginning to even, you know, at that point. The episode kept me on my toes. It was amazing. And, you know, some things I should have seen coming. I know I should have, but... They did very well with it. And yes, I'm going to miss watching this TV show. But I can still watch it in reruns. And I can always watch it on DVD. The thing about it is, is even with it ending, you know, with this season being what it has been for Castle and everything that's been going on with the show... I'm just glad that it got the proper ending it deserved. They deserve to be happy. And, you know, for somebody who, you know, as her character, you know, Stana's character had went through a lot. She, you know, had to go through the death of her mother at a very young age. And that's what the whole entire show was about, getting closure to that. But come to find out it was on a bigger level and it kept getting bigger. But it involved the same case. You know, I think that I would have never have thought who the bad guy was. But when they took him down, it was them. It was truly them. And the good thing about it was, was that... With Castle and Beckett, I have watched the show for years, and the acting was right on, and so was the script, but my favorite part of it all was their parting words at the very beginning, and his words about her, and, you know, the way they ended it, it was just, the voiceovers was, you know, that just pretty much done it in right there and then so I'm glad to say that you know Castle may be over but it will never be over for the people who write fan fiction and I can still go and read the fan fiction that I like and be able to still you know you know fans are going to go crazy about this and even on an episode years ago they were told that they was going to have three kids and she was going to be a senator, which I'd say she was. Because she took out the really big people they did. You know, there was 20-some arrests within the federal government. So, that was really good to watch. I'm proud of what they've accomplished over the last eight years. I'm proud of the character development they've done. But I felt this season they didn't reach what they had really started doing earlier on. But at least they did get their happy ending and their happily ever after with their three beautiful children and, you know, them just being happy to be a family. And that was probably the best finale I have ever seen. And... I'm glad that they ended it the way they did on the note they did. So, you know, I'm just glad that about that. But I know this is about a TV show that a lot of people, some people watch, some people don't. But, you know, it's a TV show that I've grown to 
appreciate and appreciate the writing staff on. They know how to write. <laughs> Let's just say it this way. You know, they're given a problem, they solve it. But, you know, since the new writing staff took over, I knew it was only a matter of time. So, that being said, I want to thank Andrew Marlowe, who created the show, and his wife. They are, wow. Uh, Stana Caddick and Nathan Fillion for bringing them to life in ways that nobody else could. And all the other staff and writers and, you know, they made that show what it was. But I want to thank all them for giving me a show that I enjoyed until the end. So, that being said, I just want to say thanks to them and, you know, they do great work and I can't wait to see what they do in the future. So, I'll see you all later. <laughs> Bye.